Another person who pops up now and then who seemed like he had a steady career, Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, except uh, he's starring in Fargo, the TV series. It's still television. <laughs> yeah, well, TV's an interesting place now. It's changing. It's changing. Uh, but he's thing not was, the star. <coughs> and I gotta say, the show looks good. We'll it's see. Kind of, I, got, I gotta say, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by it. I mean, Martin Freeman's in it too, um, but you never know. But yeah, he's somebody that peaked, and just after that, it just it was sporadic. He would be good in something like okay, Bad Santa, but then he'd disappear again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he hasn't really directed. I mean, whatever happened to Promise? Here's a guy who actually fizz, you know fizzled out as a director. He had Promise with Sling Blade. But then he made, what was that, All the Pretty Horses. Yeah. I guess the studio put so many demands on it, he said he lost his love of directing. And, Interesting. Well, but then he made a, I think a, what was it? I don't know if he directed or if he just wrote the screenplay for like a movie called Daddy and Them and James Mansfield's Car, which went straight to DVD. Yeah, actually I just wrote a blog about this guy recently. How about Thomas Jane? <sighs> well, he kind of... When I feel like the boat kind of sailed do... on his career. I well, kind he of didn't a... go to do a television show, so he wasn't making many movies while he was doing that. He, he was, yeah, he was in Hung, and that got a lot of press and you know all that stuff. Um, I see what you're saying, though. Uh, Thomas Jane seemed to be being propped up as a next big thing. Yeah, because right? he was supposed to star in what was that Bullet in the Head with uh, Sylvester Stallone until he got recast last minute. By uh, well, I don't guy. think I think if that was the case, that was after Thomas James' career ebbed. Uh, he was <laughs> he had he had promise earlier than that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. remember he was in Boogie Nights, and then he yeah. started to become they started to get cast in like real high profile stuff after that. Um, I think something happened after Punisher. You know, uh, maybe the fact that it bombed. <laughs> uh, yeah, and there's that. There's also Dreamcatcher also bombed. Oh, I yeah, it was in as well. Um, he was very good in the mist. He was yeah. very good in the yeah. mist, and every now and then people remember him as like, oh, I like that guy, I want him in my film. Yeah. Okay, Jeff, you mentioned uh, Aaron Eckhart, and yes. Aaron Eckhart is at that point where it's just starting to fizzle out. Yes, with I Frank. It hasn't uh, quite completely <laughs> fizzled out yet, but it's starting to fizzle. I mean, when you wind up playing the President of the United States in a siege movie, when you're not the lead, lead actor, <laughs> that's a sign that it's fizzling out. And yes, I Frankenstein, which mm. looked... Mm. So stupid and so terrible. I'll probably have to watch it when it's on cable. Well, don't forget Battle of Los Angeles. He was in also. Yeah, that was his last big hurrah. That was that was it. I mean, he has he, he played the hero at least. And you know, I do. I know he's been announced for other projects like more dramatic roles and stuff like that. So we'll see how that end goes. But it seems like right now he's on da- he's he's in the danger zone, folks. It's like that that, that sign that is starting to fizzle out. <laughs> Just is starting to begin with Aaron Eckhart, Jennifer Connelly. Yeah, she's a Noah. I know, but she keeps getting all these work. But it's always these thankless roles. It's like, you know, she is like beautiful, but like, okay, for instance, Little Children. I know it's the role she plays, but it's like, oh, I have this beautiful wife of uh, Jennifer Connelly at home, but now I'm gonna go for the dumpy Kate Winslet character instead. It should have been switched roles. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. I, th- I think, you know, I, I think it's harder for women than for men. Uh, I, Especially when, when actresses reach a certain age. It's, is, but see, that's what pisses me off. It's like, um, I will admit to watching, he's just not that into you. And it's like, okay, she plays, I believe she plays Bradley Cooper's wife, who he leaves for Scarlett Johansson. She never had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the thing that kind I'm of, tired of her getting these roles. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that kind of bothers me about Hollywood is you have like those certain actresses who are like the it girl today, Meg Ryan, Daryl Hannah, Renee Zellweger. Meg Ryan. And then, hey, I was going to say, what happened to Renee them. Zellweger? I mean, yeah, exactly. what happened to I see her in the Oscars with like all this plastic surgery she did yeah. her eyes. I don't so know if that's her real face. Is. But like, what happens to these girls if they end up having to like look like crap after 40? Well, well some of them allow them themselves to age gracefully, and they look better and than the ones like who can know. Back. 
Uh, what was it? What was her last movie like Miss Potter or something with Ewan McGregor? And like Bridget Jones Two. That would explain what happened. That to I think that was supposed to be her comeback film oh. or something like that. I mean, was that before or after Chicago? I can't remember. That was after, after Chicago. Chicago. After Chicago, because that was her last, I think, hit. <laughs> Maybe that's you know the Oscar curse. You know what I mean? You know, like a lot of people get attention. Or wasn't she Oscar nominated for that? Well, for Chicago, I believe she was, and I know uh, she won for Cold Mountain. Okay, <laughs> Josh Harden. He deserves his career to be in the crapper. <laughs> he is nothing but a young Tommy Lee Jones without the talent. I'm gonna talk about Bland. I like another that. guy who displays <laughs> earnestness, but has he has this Tommy Lee Jones face, unmoving. Well, so does Josh Brolin. Yeah, but Josh Brolin's a big guy. I, I'm like sorry. Wait a ass. second. <laughs> you're, you're saying that like that's an insult <laughs> to Josh Brolin and Tommy Lee Jones, who are two very good no, actors. No, but here's the difference. Okay, Tommy Lee Jones' face. What I'm saying is he has that stone face, but at least he can give a good performance. Josh Hartnett has a stone face and shows as much dramatic Josh drama Hartnett, as his face. Oh my god, Josh Hartnett <laughs> does not have a stone face. You're making him sound more masculine than he actually he, But he does have the a dude, stone face. The face no, doesn't he move. Has, this is what he has. He has a dewy-eyed look. That's a dewy scene. Eyed. Dewy-eyed look. This is, this when is, I think here, of dewy-eyed, I think of here. Ashton Kutcher. Here. Here. I'm going to keep following you too. Listen. <laughs> this, is what jo- this is the Josh Hartnett look. <laughs> No, I think Josh Hartnett's more. He about looks it. like he's about to fucking cry, <laughs> and everything no, he does. Josh Hart- he's he not believable switch. as a tough guy. He's just not. But my thing is when okay, other than Black Hawk Down, when has he been asked to play tough? Uh, he ah, oh. uh, lucky oh. number eleven. <laughs> you know, there's, there's, oh, don't even give me some, that. He was the soft. sheriff in like what was a forty day forty nine. He was supposed to be tough though. Sheriff wasn't supposed to be but, tough. But still, but everything boy. everything is like this one note kind of dewy eyed. And he's a tough guy in the faculty. <laughs> he was yeah. actually the toughest guy in school. That was his best <laughs> role. I know. That was actually I his like best. the movie. He was actually he good in the faculty, and that was his best role. Kevin Spacey is okay. he's actually very good on House of Cards. And he actually bothers acting again. Um, that is all. Yeah, Kevin Spacey's <laughs> career had never really fizzled out. No, he was always around, but it seemed like he wasn't making I guess he was more focusing on theater than films for a while. Uh, yeah, also he was running theater for a while. He wasn't just running theater. He was running one of the most prestigious theater companies, arguably, in the world. In England, of all places, the old Vic. So it's not like, you know, he was slumming it. Or, you know, you know or the work wasn't coming through and shit like that. I mean, he managed to finagle himself into these, like, prestigious positions in different places. And, you know, and, and his tenure there was controversial. Uh, it's arguable whether or not he was a good artistic director or not, but he did some interesting. He instituted some interesting things while he was there. You mentioned Mark Harmon. I mentioned Mark Harmon. I'm like Mark Harmon. Exactly. It's like he's had decades to come back. He has a hit television show. If we're gonna do that, what happened to Adrian Zemay? Okay. <laughs> Reese two. T J Hooker had promise. Haven't seen him since. Bachelor party. Show. Yeah, you know Adrian Smed definitely fizzled out. <laughs> the, 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 I the, can give you work, Adrian Smed. I got scripts right now. I'm like, you know what? You know what? Tarantino's next film, he's going to cast Adrian Smed. He's going to have a huge And he's going to have Mark Harmon as in a cameo with a mustache. He's going to he's going to be delivering a soliloquy on, on smuggling a watch. We we got this off our chest. Hopefully, we fed the beast, and you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, give us your thoughts. What actors, actresses? Directors. Directors. Do you think uh, had, we're, you know, we had potential, we're going to shine, and then completely fizzled out that we had mentioned on the show? Feel free to disagree with what we said. Like Whatever. be Kevin Bacon. So anyways, uh, as per usual, check out our Facebook group that acts as our discussion forum. We have Cinephiles like discussions there. Please join in and have fun with that. Like our Cinephiles page which is separate from our Facebook group. Uh, check out our blog, cinephiles, tv.blogspot.com. You can find my blogs on uh, Coast Blog, and you can check out all my write-ups on underrated actors and film reviews and wrestling-related shit, so you can go there and read all that shit. I think we fizzled out at this point. We, 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 we had, within this episode, we had our moment where we peaked, and now we fizzled out.